Now, I just went to the celebration for Science and Reason last night in Phoenix. And while I had a good time, I didn't get to ask the question I wanted to Sam Harris, Matt Delonte, and or Lawrence Krauss. So I figured I'd ask it on YouTube in hopes they would see it or possibly have the YouTube community give me their answer to my question. Now, a few years back, there was a wave of atheism online, of which you were a part of, that pretty much obliterated Christianity and the arguments for Christianity and religion. Now that Islam is the main focus, you started to see uh, popular conservatives like Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, or similar people like Jordan Peterson, etc., emphasize Christianity as a culture or system of values that's best for us, rather than a being in the sky watching us that we should fear. Now, I'm a fan of all of these guys, but they're toting Christianity around as if it doesn't have very similar messages and history as Islam, besides the way the main character spreads the religion or beliefs. Now, these are extremely intelligent and convincing men. So what do you think is a good response to their blatant disregard of the consequences of their religion, the illogical thinking behind it, and their argument that we wouldn't reach higher levels of freedom, ethics, and morality without Christianity as a culture. And the reason why I ask this is because I feel like a lot of people hang on to their religion because they're scared of whatever sense of morality we have in Western culture dissipating without there being an elusive and stern esoteric entity that tells us what's best instead of admitting that we created and built ethics and our moral compass almost solely on what we can agree are universal truths that make our quality of life better and make it easier for us to live amongst each other without a constant threat of violence or death. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now, with there being a better idea to follow, in my opinion, like humanism, for example, I really don't think these men and people like them are willing to admit that they've been promoting and teaching the wrong doctrine and may have to change significant parts of their lives and beliefs in order to adjust to the newfound ideas. I want to know what you think is an answer that they would have a hard time combating or coming up with a rebuttal to. And if you could make that in video form, that'd be great. doesn't matter though. But I do want to thank you for coming to my city and showing us a good time. And I really do hope justice is served with Lawrence Krauss, whatever that may be, whether the accusations are true or not. Thank you again.